Because of the following special program, California Fever will not be presented this evening. Radio with Ravi Sigu on BBC Radio Scotland. You gotta have a duck tail. Oh, well, I bless my soul, I can hardly wait to see my baby at eight. I've been a thing about it all the day long. Think of what she says to me, she says. You gotta have a duck tail. I read a man in the magazine and said I grew my hair real well. I run down to the drugstore to give me a can. Makes my baby ready to go down the road. I pick up my baby, thought I would a bad day. Everything was going just so fine. Until I started to steal a little kisses. Have a look behind, cause you gotta have a duck tail. She says again, she says, You gotta have a duck tail. Well, I'm fed up with a yaggedy yak. You just can't realize. But every time we're gonna start to rock, I have fall right down in my eyes. I will look up, my baby, and I walk up to the gate. Think that I am a free. And when I get home, I hear the ring of the phone. Well, this is what she says to me, she says You gotta have a duck tail uh, uh, Trying to tell, trying to explain She better take just the what I've got If it hadn't been, I pulled a hair on my head Might have been a big ball of mine I would have done my baby with a very next day Take a boy right 
She looked up from me, I looked down at her. She said with a smile, she said, I see you got your duck tail. Kicking off with some rockabilly vibes as paired with Billy Adams, you got to have a ducktail, a hairstyle I never have supported. I did have a bit of a geeky 90s side pattern during my secondary days with a really, you know, big Elvis style quiff. There used to be a lot of mousse, a lot of gel, and I used to even have the nickname as Elvis at school, one of many. But uh, yeah, no ducktail. And if you're trying to picture a ducktail, think of Danny Zuko and Greece. In the meantime, I will rock my man bun from my lockdown lock days. Yes, indeed. Eh? The usual array of eclectic music over the next two hours for Late Night Thursday here on BBC Radio Scotland. And as you've probably no doubt deciphered already, it's myself, Ravi Sagu, sitting in for the lovely Natasha Raskin Sharp for the next few weeks. And a massive thank you to Anna Massey for looking after us here on Radio Scotland over the last few hours with Travelling Folk. If you missed any of uh, Anna's show tonight or indeed just want to listen again, you can indeed by heading along to BBC Sounds. Coming up this hour, we'll spin back to some classic indie from the 90s from Supergrass, Texas featuring Method Man and some other Wu-Tang members as well. And we'll throw in some Big Thief as well. And a brand new feature over the next few weeks to look forward to as well. I'm going to take you on a brilliant glitz and glamorous journey to the world of Bollywood films, music and song. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing some classics and some reversions over the next few weeks as well. But in the meantime, we're going to hit the decade of the 80s. Quite a cool decade. I was born in that very decade. And perhaps you've done this to your New Year's resolution already. Don't worry, I've had a few false starts myself and uh, I'm going to confess all to my PT, who happens to be my friend tomorrow morning at some point on a Zoom call. This is Orange Juice and Rip It Up.
some fine advice for the first full working week of January. Rip it up from Orange Juice, one of the leading lights of the postcard records movement. Edwin Collins, of course, leading the charge there for Orange Juice. Fine vocalist, fine songwriting and musical talent. I first discovered him with his big hit of 1994, A Girl Like You. You can get in touch with me on the show this evening. Usual Radio Scotland text number 80295. You can uh, drop me a wee note on my Instagram handle as well. It's simply Ravi Sagu Graham. Um, yeah, simply that's it, at Ravi Sagu Graham. And of course, you could uh, post away on Twitter and various other uh, Radio Scotland pages, etc. It all come through to us. But yes, 80295 on text and uh, simply Ravi Sagu Graham. If you are on Instagram, text in already from Sheila in London, who's listening into the show, and she's saying, post a picture of your 90s hairdo. <laughs> I'll need to go through the archives for that one, Sheila. Maybe next week I'll stick something, if I'm brave enough, on my uh, Instagram handle and give you all a laugh pre or post show or maybe during the show. OK, notice, Sheila. Thank you for your company uh, this evening. 80295 via text. Um, from the 80s, let's head into the 90s. This, another classic, featured in many, many a soundtrack since then. I caught these guys live in the act in the late 90s, somewhere in Glasgow. I used to have all my ticket stubs uh, neatly sort of, you know, filed away somewhere and I've put them away somewhere really safe and yet that old adage, I can't find it at all. I can't remember. I think it might have been the garage in Sakao Street. I'm not sure, but I've definitely seen them live a couple of times. One of my favourites from the 90s, Supergrass, Moving. Moving, just keep moving.
Great vocals from Gaz Coombs. The switch up and the melodies, absolute perfection and genius. Supergrass and moving, just perfect for late night radio. Or perhaps if you're hanging about in a late night indie dive bar, whatever it takes to get through the first few weeks of January. That's what my friends keep telling me and I keep telling them I'm going to push the Happy New Year greetings for one final week because it's the final or the first full week indeed of the uh, first full working week of January. So a very happy new year to you if I haven't done so. Wish you that already. And well, January, also a very exciting month, especially if you are going to see Celtic Connections, which is taking place. Glasgow's annual Folk Roots and World Music Festival celebrates its connections to cultures from across the globe. And you might have been listening to festival organiser Donald Shaw, who joined Anna Massey earlier on in Travelling Folk. I was listening to their conversation in the car. So much happening, running from the 18th of January to the 4th of February. Over 2,000 musicians from all around the world. So many concerts, Kayleigh's talks, art exhibitions, workshop. There's so much going on. Check everything out online. And one of our picks to go and see will be the intimate acoustic tribute to the music of Joni Mitchell. We are massive fans of that on the show. I'm sure Natasha is as well. And um, the songs of Joni Mitchell taking place as part of Celtic Connections uh, takes place on the 19th of January at the Drygate in Glasgow and it's led by the Welsh duo of Zebris and Pepper with a full five-piece band in this, their version of This Flight Tonight. <laughs> i 
Firstly, we had Zebris and Pepper with their version of The Flight Tonight. And of course, they're playing at Celtic Connections on the 19th of January at the Dry Gate, which followed on into Angelica Kidojo and her record there at Golo. Also playing as part of Celtic Connections, the date for the diary, 29th of January, Royal Concert Hall. She's playing with a whole plethora of support acts, including Senegalese singer Samba Seni. It's going to be a right good mix of African Afrobeat pop dance groove and so much more. I think I am actually going to head along to that gig myself. Are you heading along to any Celtic Connections? There's just so much to choose from. That's the most difficult part of it. And of course, there's lots of special programmes from Celtic Connections right here on BBC Radio Scotland over the next couple of weeks from the likes of Gary Innes, Roddy Hart, Nicola Meehan and Anna Massey. Just keep across the website and of course, BBC Sounds. And the Joni Mitchell Connections continue. This is stellar work by producer Nick, not myself. I'm not that clever, especially in the first couple of weeks of January. I've still got festive brain fog, if that's a thing. I'm making it a thing. Joni Mitchell, of course, had an album called Blue from 1972, but this time it's the band formed and fronted by ex-Marmalade guitarist Hugh Nicholson, and we're about to hit the Atlantic Ocean.
I just love that laid back 70s vibe to that song. Really relaxed, recorded live, no doubt. And the vocal delivery, just really nice and soft. Great, great work there from Blue Atlantic Ocean. Life in the Navy was the album from 1974. You're listening to BBC Radio Scotland and BBC Sounds, of course. Myself, Ravi Sugu, sitting in for Natasha Raskin Sharp this evening, right through until midnight and indeed over the next few weeks. And uh, we'll be heading to the world of Bollywood, film, music and song. I did a bit of a New Year's Day special, Ravi Goes to Bollywood. You may have listened to it on New Year's Day here on BBC Radio Scotland, or indeed last Thursday it got a repeat. But um, yeah, we'll be lending in to the soundtracks of Bollywood films. And if you're familiar or perhaps not too familiar with Bollywood music and indeed films, there's no film without a soundtrack. It's all about the music. And we'll be just rediscovering it over the next couple of weeks. And of course, you can listen again to Ravi Goes to Bollywood on BBC Sounds over the next few weeks as well. In the meantime, we're going to stick into that sort of late 60s, early 70s Woodstock kind of era. And Melanie, she was discovered there. And uh, perhaps where fans first held aloft candles and matches. And well, think about the health and safety. Nowadays, it's all smartphones and yeah, LED lights, a lot, lot safer. But yeah, this will take you back. This is Melanie with Someday I'll Be a Farmer. Someday I'll be a farmer working the land. I wish I was a farmer to work with my hands because it's been too long a ride. Join me, Davy Scott, for brand new episodes of classic Scottish albums. Can you sing any song, sing any music alive? I'll be talking to the artists behind the music and featuring records from Amy McDonald. I was writing a lot of these songs when I was in school, not thinking that they would ever see the light of day. Posh. It was what Angela, in fact, used to describe as whiplash effect, where you're whisked along by a song. Gary Clark. It could have been as easily called 10 short songs about humans. Classic Scottish albums from BBC Radio Scotland. Listen now on the BBC Sounds app. The brand new single now from Scottish singer-songwriter Becky Sakaza. Some great influences of soul, indie mixed in with some phenomenal harmonies. This is Wait Up. 
I'm sick and tired of waiting Where did I grow There must be a fast track For those with the cash I look around and it seems Like everyone's done it While I'm still running Chasing childhood dreams You don't need to wait up I might be a while Now it's sooner but later I'll have what's mine, mine, mine You don't need to wait up I might be a while I might not have the money But I've got time, time, time hey, yeah. Oh, I've got time I'm so damn bored of a paper I've been trying to chase up There must be a fast track For those with the nerve Or car and a mortgage And one the way They bet on a sure thing While I tape on my single Like a millennial You don't need to wait up be a while, not sooner but later, I'll have what's mine, 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 it's on it to wait up, I might be a while, I might not have the money, but I've got time, 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 you don't need to wait up. She's a fantastic talent, Becky Sacasa. That's her brand new single, Wait Up. She did a BBC introducing session recently and she's also got some headline shows taking place over the month of January. You can catch her in London, Cologne and closer to Scotland and indeed my own hometown, Glasgow. She's playing St Luke's on the 28th of January in Glasgow as part of this year's Celtic Connections. And yeah, I think I'm going to head along to go and see her because yeah, those vocals, yeah, just brilliant for any time of the day, never mind late night radio. Quite a talent indeed. Now, each and every week, we've got a brand new feature over the next few weeks whilst I'm sitting in for Natasha, and I'm rather excited about it because it's a film genre and it's a music genre that I grew up with throughout the 80s, 90s, all throughout, yeah, even now to this very day, all because of my family. It's Ravi Goes to Bollywood, Bollywood Soundtracks. And uh, I'd mentioned a wee bit earlier on in the show, on New Year's Day, I did a bit of a special Ravi Goes to Bollywood where I tracked back the history of Bollywood films being shown in Scotland for the very first time. And we tracked back to the musical soundtracks from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, right into the 2000s. And I got to interview my uncle, who's a, a Bollywood expert, but once ago sharing some of the family tales and then we also interviewed Raj Danda of Raj and Pablo another uh, Scottish Bollywood expert just talking about how Indian cinema has been filming in Scotland for the last 25 years yep massive location vista shoots for uh, massive Bollywood films Scotland all over from Edinburgh Glasgow Dundee Aviemore all throughout the Highlands India and Scotland have got a massive relationship when it comes to filmmaking. And uh, yeah, Sanjeev Kohli also joined us as well, telling about his tales of growing up and going to the cinema and running a mock. You can, of course, listen to Ravi Goes to Bollywood on BBC Sounds again. I would urge you to go and uh, listen to it if you just want to get a wee introduction into Bollywood from every 
different era. And um, as you can no doubt tell, I'm a massive Bollywood fan. Also, share the story of how I missed out on starring in one of the most iconic films from 1998, which was shot here partly in Scotland, called Kush Kush Hota It was far too cool for school. I'm gutted. I still am. I regretted it. But it's a right that I've wronged recently. Anyway, I'll uh, let you listen to the programme to get the full story behind that. But uh, yes, one of the major players of Bollywood playback singing is Asha Bosley, who is, of course, the sister of Lata Mangeshkar. Asha Bosley, also an actor as well in her own right. She's well into her sort of late 80s now. And uh, this is a bit of a reworking with the fantastic Cronus Quartet that was released a few years back. This is taken from the film uh, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, which was released in 1971. The track is called Dum Maru Dum, but it just gets a bit of a strings rearrangement and it's absolutely gorgeous.
just gorgeous. What a lovely rearrangement and origination from Cronus Quartet teaming up with the original singer Asha Bosley from Dum Maro Dum. That was taken from the film Hari Rama, Hari Krishna, and uh, which was released in 1971. I've watched that film on VHS as a kid. Can't quite remember the story, but yeah, quite psychedelic musical vibes. Ravi goes to Bollywood, our Bollywood soundtrack stop off. Of course, over the next couple of weeks, lots more Bollywood songs coming up across the generations. And of course, you can listen to Ravi goes to Bollywood on BBC Sounds. And talking about the sort of reworkings and remixes, we're going to head to Texas via the south side of Glasgow. This was a big track for me. I think it was White on Blonde. It was originally released in the late 90s. And then I'm not sure if it was Into the Millennium, but there was a remix with Wu-Tang's uh, Method Man and Texas pairing up. This was just indie hip-hop gold for me at that time. It's Texas featuring Method Man. Say what you want, the remix. Your host this Eve, Mr. H-O-T And I get you get splashed with the tech Nobody go till the guards say so You got a second or more to run for the dough Before I blow back off the map contact You didn't know stack could get down like that And when I get that feeling I yeah. can no longer yeah. slide See my thumb, see that kid with the pump shotgun. Mr. Mac, hold the four most down. Cats is dead wrong, songs too long. Mr. Big Mouth, could that be trap? You need to dust out your style, no doubt. Challenge strut through the challenge slum. Rum, rum, rum on my challenge drum. Great harmonies, great remix, say what you want, the remix, Texas featuring Method Man. So from the south side of Glasgow and Texas even, we're off to New Zealand. And this is just some phenomenal smoky talent. That's the vocals. Murray Soul singer, Teeks and If Only. I mean when I say that I'm sorry If I could change things, girl Don't you think I would? Now I'm down on my knees And I'm asking God Why would you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? Oh, if only 
I'm sure you agree. What a voice. Really nice smoky edge to it. What a talent. Just one of those songs that you just want to mellow out to. It doesn't, again, matter what time of day or evening it is. It's been a bit quiet over the last few years with new music, but hopefully 2024 we'll hear a lot more music from Teeks. That was If Only. Worth a follow on Instagram as well. Arty scenes mixed with hanging out by grocery stores. From New Zealand to New York City, the hip borough of Brooklyn. Yes, New York City. This is Big Thief. And now cause you're six spired, all the leaves are dead. I'm not quiet, you've been quiet, just receiving what you said. Reeling, feeding, feeling filled by everything you fed. I see you as you see yourself through all the books you read. Overwhelmed with guilt and realizing the disease. You give me chills, I've had it with the chills. I'm nothing, you are nothing, we are nothing with the pills. I'm empty till she feels alive. Till she kills in her vampire
ashes in the snow where you can't seem to hold me can't seem to let me go so i can't find surrender and i can't keep control you turn me inside out and then you walk the outside in you spin me all around then you ask me not to spin you say you want to be alone and you want your twin you want to be with me you want to be with me now you give me kids i've had it with the girls i'm nothing you are nothing we are nothing with the pills i'm empty till she feels alive until she kills and her vampire Vampire Empire with Big Thief. I can just picture myself in a hip sort of pizza bar late night listening to that and eating a pie, a pizza pie, because that's what they say in Brooklyn. Still lots to come in the second hour, including our A to B feature with the Smiths tonight. And uh, But before we head to our second hour, it's fine. <laughs> Our holidays are over, so we're back across the nation We broadcast to the whole UK on Britain's favourite station But now we're also on the air across the USA So put down your hot dogs and your guns and shout hip hip hooray The Chris Moyle Show, now live across America Late Night Radio with Ravi Sagu on BBC Radio Scotland.
What a way to start the second hour of the programme, the vintage explosion, all things new and old school, soul, swing, rock and roll, rhythm and blues and oh so much more. I had the pleasure of interviewing band leader Will Hitchell last summer on BBC Radio Scotland on my Summer Soul series. Uh, lovely band, lovely chap and they've got some tour dates kicking off this month as well which I'll get to but that track, Take My Troubles Away, that's taken from their debut studio album which is out now all the usual ways online etc streaming and the album's called having such a good time i've yet to catch some live but yeah i reckon there'll be some big things big explosive things uh, live in action um uk and ireland wide tour kicks off this month some scottish dates to note down 10th of february they're playing the royal concert hall in glasgow 23rd of february they're playing the aloha town hall and in march they're playing in veruri town hall that's the 23rd of March. There's lots more Scottish dates and indeed they're in Cardiff, Ireland, both North and South. If you just head along to their website, you'll catch all their dates. They've got Edinburgh and Aberdeen as well this year as well. So much more going on there. And I was actually chatting away to Will earlier in the week. They recently played in Liverpool at the Cavern and they actually recorded the show you'll be saying to me and they're also planning on releasing live at the Cavern an album due out in February, sometimes early Feb. So yeah, that's another thing to watch out from. So very warm welcome back to the second hour, Ravi Sagu, myself sitting in for Natasha Raskin-Sharp broadcasting live here on BBC Radio Scotland and BBC Sounds this hour we've got music from Corner Shop, Canned Heat and we'll be going up the country with siblings Kitty, Daisy and Lewis but in the meantime let's stick into that 60s soul era and uh, 83 years young, still touring, believe it or not, Dion Warwick. She is coming to Scotland soon. I'll give you those details after her cover of The Beatles. We can work it out. So I will ask you once again As far as cover versions go, that is definitely up there for me. Reworking the Beatles, we can work it out from soul legend Dionne Warwick. She's coming to Scotland, two dates to note down. The 7th of May, she plays the Usher Hall in Edinburgh and the 9th of May, Glasgow Royal Concert Hall. She's no stranger to Scotland over the years. I'm a big, big fan. And that record covered by so many people from Deep Purple to Big Youth. But yeah, I think Dionne Warwick's cover is one of my favourites. And uh, in that kind of 
kind of vein of maybe switching up some of the music, uh, a bit of hip hop, a bit of jazz. I first discovered this artist, Guru, via my big cousin's CDs, sort of mid to late 90s. And I was astounded that you could get jazz and hip hop sort of integrated into one. And then I discovered that, yeah, Jazz Mataz volumes and yeah, there was a whole legacy of brilliant music. I'm of course talking about Keith Edward Elam, who's better known simply as Guru. And this taken from Jazz Mataz volume two, the new reality, The Traveller. Something to motivate to, something to motivate you. The more traveling I do, the more wise I become. I'm the traveler, I go place to place, they see my face, then I'm gone. I'm the traveler, I go place to place, they see my face, then I'm gone. Yes, the traveler, always on the move, making power moves, devouring the grooves, going city to city with the illest force, spanning the globe like wild world of sports. I go to Japan, with plans to slam, I go to Spain and England, with knowledge to bring them. I go to Holland, and then to Germany. You better learn to see I'll be here for eternity. I go to Switzerland and travel to Sweden and give the real heads jewels that they need. I go to Italy and also to France with the chance to enhance the dance. I tour a mad spots doing shows all over. I wreck the stage with East Coast flavor, but I go out west too and build with my people. Some can't conceive how I do what I do. I'm the traveler. I go place to place. They see my face, then I'm gone. I'm the traveler. I go place to place. They see my face and I'm gone. I'm the traveler. I go place to place. They see my face and I'm gone. I'm the traveler. I go place to place. They see my face and I'm gone. I'm around the world and back, yo. The steel is fat, yo. From blocks to continents with mad impacts. I got it like that. Ringing bells in the street. Midwest to down south. I turn it out. Capiche? Wherever I go, they give it up. They want to see me on the stage when I rip it up. Uptown, downtown, Brooklyn, Queens, Strong Island, Bronx, Shaolin, New Jersey. The brothers know I'm worthy. Got to get the dough, got to run the show. My mental pops the topics when it's time to flow. With expertise, I release more techniques than 1,200. Styles more than 100. Yes, I run it. More game than a little. MCs dribble from the mouth when I hit. The fuse is lit, making your whole crew split. No myth. Yeah, I'm whipping evil everywhere. Ratification severely severe. So clearly you hear. Original aspects are limited. Significant thoughts that make me different than most men who play the edge too close. And while they fall, I fill halls coast to coast. The dressing rooms of Roma is the center of blessings. Soon as we rock, it's to the next spot to wreck them. I put the pure in the store. I got the cure. Like a doctor. Switching from planes to helicopters. MCs with your fake scowls. You smell foul, so I drop you. And then I walked away with your profits. Of course, I had to stop ya. See, now you lost your spot to the traveler. traveler. Running weekly music program on TV first aired on January the 1st, 1964. This is Hugh and Cry wishing Top of the Pops a happy 60th anniversary. Join me, Grant Stott, and some of Scotland's biggest stars to mark this landmark anniversary. 
I have no idea that literally a year after I left school, I'd be on top of the pops. Now here's me, 18, telling Abba, don't be nervous, I'll be fine. <laughs> they share their recollections of watching and appearing on the show. I had no desire to be a TV presenter, but it came with the Radio 1 job. Tartan Top of the Pops. Listen now on BBC Sounds. We were celebrating the talents of Bollywood playback singer Asha Bosley in the first hour of the programme and she was immortalised in Britpop culture during the 1990s as well with Corner Shop's ode and tribute to her in the record Brimful of Asha. This, the remix from Norman Cook. of Asha, the Norman Cook remix from Corner Shop. The original is actually quite good as well and uh, I'm really glad that I got to see Corner Shop the day they hit number one with that very record. They were playing in the garage in Suckell Street. I might have been slightly 
maybe 16, not quite 18 enough. And I just gave the bouncers the biggest smile, the biggest cheeser ever and sauntered right in. And what a gig that was because they just announced uh, that they'd hit number one. And Tejinder Singh, the um, main frontman, he's quite a kind of sombre, kind of, you know, very kind of moody kind of guy. And then he just looked up and gave this wee wry smile and the crowd went electric. One of my favourite gigs of the Indira of the 1990s corner shop. You're listening to BBC Radio Scotland. It's myself, Ravi Segu, sitting in for Natasha Raskin-Sharp with you right through until 12 midnight. Time now to spin a classic single from A to B. As it says, we play the A side and then we play the B side. This single taken from the Smiths' third album, The Queen Is Dead, released in 1986. And unusually, it wasn't actually released as a single until six years later in order to promote the band's second best of album. And it's seen by many fans and it's featured in various Best Smiths recordings poll. And um, There Is A Light That Never Goes Out is deemed one of the band's finest songs. Guitarist Johnny Marr commented on the song's enduring popularities. I didn't realise it was going to be an anthem, but when we first played it, I thought it was the best song I'd ever heard. The B-side, of course, is Half a Person, where Morris, he repeats, he's six years on your trail. I ask you for five minutes back. A firm favourite with some fans, including us. This, The Smiths are A to B tonight, firstly, with There Is A Light That Never Goes Out. Take me out tonight And I want to see life Driving in your car Oh, please don't drop me home Because it's not my home It's their home and I'm welcome no more And if a double
Tonight's classic single, A to B, from the Smiths. Firstly, we had There Is A Light That Never Goes Out, which was followed by Half A Person. You're listening to BBC Radio Scotland. It's myself, Ravi Segu, sitting in for Natasha Raskin-Sharp with you for another oh, 28 minutes or so right through until midnight before we hand over to our friends over at BBC Radio 5 Live. If you do want to get in touch, it's 80295 on text and you can hit me up on Instagram as well. It's simply at Ravi Segu Graham. Now, Nitin Sonny's got a brand new album out. He released it at the tail end of last year. One of the most accomplished composers and producers coming out of Britain. Uh, not only a very accomplished a musician as well, also an actor as well. You might remember he was actually in a few scenes from Goodness Gracious Me in the late 90s into the 2000s. It's the very famous skit of where they all go out for an English. He was the one that was threatening to do a Mooney and maybe barfing on the table. Yeah, worth a rerun on YouTube. But yeah, quite the talented musician. The brand new album's called Identity. I've already had a bit of a sort of sneak, well, no, I wouldn't say a sneak peek, but I've had a, a sort of listen through out the, the album, really usual sort of knitting, progressive and just effortless talent. It's really, really good. I urge you to stream it. And this song especially, I love the sort of classical Indian rags with the flutes and the dumbi strings that he's just put on it. It's, it's absolutely fantastic. And vocals from Guy Garvey as well from Elbow. This is Knitting Sony with Darling Boy. Darling Boy
When you laugh, my heart beats double time. Can't believe your mind.
darling Sean Good night Sean See you in the morning Right to bed Quite an intricate piece from John Lennon and Beautiful Boy, released on the 1980 album Double Fantasy, the last album released before his death. And before that, we had Nit and Sonny from his brand new album featuring Guy Garvey. The album is Identity and the track was Darling Boy. And Nitin is touring across the UK with that very album. Really looking forward to experiencing that album live. And producer Nick and I, I think, will be heading to this very gig Sunday the 7th of April. He's playing the Old Fruit Market in Glasgow. Slight switch of styles and music. We're heading for some Californian country blues rock. Yes, can't eat. This was a big hit for them. In fact, the band's only top 40 hit to feature the vocals of Bob the Bear Height, and it was originally developed from the R&B song written by Wilbur Harrison, Let's Stick Together, which later became Let's Work Together for Canned Heat. <laughs> Absolute classic vibes there from Canned Heat with Let's Work Together. Yes, Let's Work Together always. Yeah, I love that song. And staying in that kind of Canned Heat environment, siblings Kitty, Daisy and Lewis. I've uh, played them on Radio Scotland many times. They hail from Durham and I'm actually quite jealous of them of late because they've been touring Japan. It's a part of the world I absolutely want to go and travel and visit. And I just love how a band can just get a wee cult following in this far-flung place. And they spent the 
sort of tail end of last year touring Japan, and rightly so, because they are very, very talented. And they're covering Canned Heat's Rural Hippie Anthem with this very next record. They're going up the country. I'm going up the country, babe, don't you want to go? I'm going up the country, babe, don't you want to go? Take it to some place I've never been before. I'm going, when I'm going, where the water tastes like wine. I'm going with where the water tastes like wine. We can jump in the water, stay drunk all the time. Don't leave this city, got to get away. Don't leave this city, got to get away. All the bus in the fire, the red you know I sure can't stay. The baby back to leave the truck, you know you've got to see today. I guess that's exactly where we're going to get stay. But we might even leave the USA. This is a brand new game that I just want to be playing. I know you used to be running, all screaming and crying. I guess you've got a whole day. And I've got mine Kitty, Daisy and Lewis going up the country giving canned heat a bit of a skiffle blues with a name from their brand new album Urban Tales. And if country is your vibe, Ricky Ross is here every Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Good evening, I'm Ricky Ross. We are on the road to Super Bound 3. Join us live Sunday, January 28th for the return of James Ellsworth plus the stars of Memphis Wrestling. Tickets are on sale now at MemphisWrestling.tv. And playing is out tonight, some classic Blue Nile. And Paul Buchanan, lead singer of the Blue Nile, is playing Celtic Connections on the 26th of January at the Royal Concert Hall alongside the Scottish Chamber Orchestra with Ophi O'Donovan, Lau and Maeve Gilchrist.
great way to end the show tonight. Classic Blue Nile with Tinseltown in the rain. Many thanks for joining me tonight. I'll be here, of course, same time next week. But in the meantime, it's good night from all of us here on BBC Radio.